The Space Weather Prediction Center under the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has predicted a solar radiation storm today and tomorrow. This comes as the sun spews plasma from a canyon that opened up on the solar surface on Sunday. The latest source of the eruption is a location named the Canyon of Fire. According to Space Weather, it is a dark filament of magnetism that has opened up in the sun's atmosphere. The walls of the canyon are at least 20,000 km high and 10 times as long. Experts predict that fragments of the magnetic filaments may emerge from the blast site in the form of Earth-directed CMEs or coronal mass ejections. The US-based Space Observer issued an alert for a minor geomagnetic storm in response to the anticipated CME from the filament eruption that was centered near S22W30 on the Sun. The agency warned that there is a possibility of the solar radiation storm occurring on Earth with proton levels exceeding the S1 minor threshold. The geomagnetic storm is likely to extend to April 7th, which could lead to fluctuations in power grids along with a minor impact on satellites in the low Earth orbit. It can kick off auroras at higher altitudes. The geomagnetic storm could lead to minor radio blackouts. Geomagnetic storms are a major disturbance of Earth's magnetosphere that occurs when there is a very efficient exchange of energy from the solar wind into the space environment surrounding Earth. This is not the first time that a geomagnetic storm is set to hit Earth with solar cycle ramping. SpaceX Starlink satellites faced a major hit earlier this year. 40 Starlink satellites were destroyed in space when a CME from the Sun struck Earth's orbit.